So I want to show you guys some bait uh, that you can get pretty cheaply. A lot of people don't know about these. I've always called them horseweed worms. I'm not sure if that's the proper name for them or not. But they grow in these. They end up getting in these weeds that grow along ditches, corn stalks, whatever. It's a five leaf plant. The stalks get really hard and dry at the end. But what I want to show you, I broke one off here because I found one. Is that when you see a hole in it, there's going to be a worm in that baby. And that's real good fish bait. So like I said, once you find one of them, you can see he came all the way through. I'm hoping there's one in here. What I like to do is just take a knife and start to split it. When you split it like that, you'll be able to see if they're in there. As you can see, the inside of it's all ate out. Look at there. Look at that big dude. Tell me that ain't a scrumptious meal for something. See him right here? You want to talk about some killer catfish bait or what have you? That's a big bait right there. You catch them early, they're a lot smaller, but they get pretty damn good size. Bluegill, catfish, anything that swims will eat these. What I'm going to do is show you how you can collect them and keep them good for a week or so. So you can see how they're all mixed in with the corn. Usually right at the edges of cornfields, inside ditches. What I'm looking for is holes or a balled up spot. As you've seen any other one. Sometimes I'll just pull them out. Take a look around. You can see this one here. Was pretty abused at one point. I don't know if there'll be anything in there or not. Sometimes they'll grow all the way the opposite way of the roots. You can see how there was one in there, but he done left. That's what all that brown is. I don't know, maybe it's the pesticides once they get sprayed or what causes them to leave. But sometimes they just do. They only last a couple weeks. I'm going to keep looking. Look a couple different places. I got quite a big area around the house for this. So. so when you knock these down, you start looking at these stems. You can tell this one here. Very discolored from this one. And you can see the knot. So what you want to do is just grab a hold of it. Pull it straight out of the ground. She's gonna, oh yeah, look at that hole. She's gonna have a hole in it. I just pull the root and all. This is one way you can keep these longer though. So here's a way to keep these longer. You can throw them in a five gallon bucket. You find you a knot, you go up, you can see he's been into here. So cut below the stem. And then wherever you think, you know, you can see the hole here. And you can see it's fat through here. You can work it all the way back to where the next section is and go ahead and cut that. Now all you have is a stalk. He'll live in there for a week or so, maybe even longer in a five gallon bucket and they will not come out. Cause all he's got is goodness to eat from there up. You can see he's already been doing it. Okay, so I just pulled this one out. You can see the hole here. They usually fatten the stock up some, but let's see what's in this dude. You can see how it's a little fatter right here. Starts turning different colors when they're in there. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> That's a big old bait. You remember the size of the hole? Well, he's been eating. That's a nice chunk of bait for something. You can see what they do is they just eat and fill all these voids up inside these stalks. You know, he just sets in there and starts living. So let's see if we can find some more. 
Okay. This dude here looks like he's been eating on. There's a hole right there. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's already down to the to the root, maybe. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna break it right at the hole so you don't smash the worm. And then you basically just split it. I usually just take a knife and start wiggling it back and forth. You don't want to cut your fingers, but I just split it. Once it's split, you can usually just pull it apart. Oh, yeah. You can tell that there's a big void in there. Yeah, I see the worm. See him coming out now? He don't like his house being messed with. So he's working his way right out. Right into my hand. Oop. Look at that. I've always called them horseweed worms. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're three times, four times the size of a bee moth. And they're great bait for a lot of different types of fish. I was raised fishing pay lakes for catfish. And these were one of the good ones. Let me tell you that. So as you can see, they come in a couple different sizes. The longer you wait, the bigger they get. So don't wait too long, guys. Get out there and try these. They're great bait for a lot of different types of fish. We just didn't come out bass fishermen. A lot of us fish since we were little kids for different species. I've always called them horseweed worms. I'm not sure that's the right word for it or not, but it's the tall, five-leafed, plants that grow along ditches cornfields you know when they dry out we used to use them as spears as kids they have like the little white cotton or marshmallowy stuff inside when you break them i'm not sure what the right name for it is but if you know put it in the comments please people would love to know when these things come in to season because they're only in for a short time and that's why i'm kind of rushing this video out I still caught it a little bit late. They're pretty big right now. Um, if you remember, once it starts getting hot, start checking for these. You'll start seeing them. They'll make these weird colors or the stalk will ball up into different sizes. And then you'll see that hole. You know what's in there? A big old fat worm. They like to stay in these stalks, so you can keep them pretty easy. Um, if you don't cut the stalk, you can leave them in a five-gallon bucket. You could stack a hundred of these in a five-gallon bucket. You're good for a week or two, trust me. There's plenty for them to eat. Until it dries out, they're not coming out of that cone. All you got to do is split them, open it up, grab you a piece of bait. Great to go out with the kids, collect these. You can use scissors, you can use knives because I use my electric fillet knife all the time so these are just kind of worthless to me but they'll cut a stick, you know what I mean? These things work for all types of fish, bluegill, bass, crappie, catfish especially. I was raised in a catfish lake, I mean I fished for them religiously, we always got our own bait. Crawfish, catapa worms, horseweed worms, mud minnows, you name it. I seen them, picked them, collected them some way or another, and used them for bait. So I hope this is good information for you guys. It's free bait. How can you pass that up? You and the kids, go out and collect them. It's a good time for everybody. We'll see you guys out there. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like this stuff. I have more things coming. I just don't know if you kind of like this stuff or not. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.